Main event heavyweight fight between Cyril Gan and Jarzinho, Jarzinho Rosenstreich. We've got a total here set at one and a half for these boys because we know the death touch of Rosenstreich. One and a half, minus 210 to the over. People got to this one, folks. Minus 210, minus 220 to the over after opening up at minus 135 and uh, plus 180 to the under, one and a half. If you can get the alternate total of two and a half, that one's a pick em. We got minus 110 on both sides of the two and a half alternate line. I think this one's going over too, I'll be honest. Uh, Cyril Gan is a guy that flows on the feet. He's a very talented striker. He's elusive. He's quick. He makes his opponents miss. But this is a huge step up in competition, and he's fighting a guy with the death touch. So I think he's going to look to stay safe, play the outside, or use his grappling. And if he does either of those, then he's going to be safe from a big knockout bomb. They'll either be having this fight take place on the floor or up against the fence for the majority of the time, or they'll be staying at a range where it's hard for them to connect with one another. Jarzinho Rosenstreich just needs one shot. This is a main event, a 25-minute fight. He's got 25 minutes to find that one spot to knock Cyril Gaon out. And even though Gaon is undefeated 7-0, we've never seen him in trouble. This is a massive, massive leap up in competition from what he's been facing so far. I think a later finish is probably on the table here. Whether Jarzinho gasses out, gets tired, and Cyril Gaon is able to... Implement that ground game and catch him with some kind of a submission after he finally starts to tire out later in the round. Something that Alistar Overeem wasn't able to do because he couldn't continue pushing that grappling pace. Uh, or I think Jarzinho is going to flip the script and he'll get a knockout on Cyril Gaon in the later rounds because Gaon has been pushing that pace because he's been trying to use that grappling. He'll end up wearing himself out. Now, the, the catch here is if this thing turns into a striker's delight. If Cyril Gaon decides to kickbox and stay at range and try and piece Jarzinho up from a distance, I think this thing could go all 25 minutes. I mean, we saw Jarzinho Rosenstreich go 25 minutes with Alistar over Reem, grappling heavily in those first couple of rounds, and then striking technically for the later rounds. We've seen that. Jarzinho Rosenstreich can absolutely go 25 minutes with this style of a game plan. Cyril Gaon has seven UFC fights. He's never seen the championship rounds. He's never had an opponent that's taken him 25 minutes before. He's gone 15 and he's looked good doing it. But those fourth and fifth rounds, those are something new. Those are something different. So I'm not convinced that Cyril Gaon is suddenly just going to be a beast in round four and round five because we have never seen it. We have no evidence to put our hat on that he's actually going to be a monster once it gets there. I'm tempted to say that this fight goes all 25 minutes. I think these big boys could end up putting on a show for us. Now, it's hard to say that with any confidence because Jarzinho Rosenstreich is a man who can end the fight on a moment's notice. But this is a spot where I wish I got in early on that minus 135 opener because the over one and a half at minus 135, that's the spot. That feels so good. If you've got in that, if if you got in on that early, if you've got that ticket in your pocket, congratulations. The over two and a half at minus 115, I'm extremely tempted on taking that. The over three and a half at plus 135, the over four and a half at plus 177, and of course, the plus 200 fight goes to decision. I'm very tempted on every single one of these overs. Now, I've done this before where I've talked about taking every single over on the board and then just holding my nose. I don't know if I can do it this week because of Jarzinho Rosenstreich and because of Cyril Gaon. The power that these guys bring to the table, this isn't this isn't 145ers, this isn't 170 pounders or even lightweights where there's a chance they can use their speed and technical ability. These are heavyweights. These are guys that are going for the kill every single time they step in the cage. So even though my prediction is that it's going over, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I've got the guts to play four overs on this heavyweight main event. 